Hi guys, it's me, Kelly Cassie, and today I'm going to be doing a review of my new Teddy Blake Katie purse. So guys, you're a little bit used to seeing beauty videos of me on my channel here, but something you didn't know about me is I'm also kind of obsessed with purses. I have not always been able to afford nice purses, but a new kind of tradition that Brian and I started when we got married is every time we went somewhere that had designer handbags that would be you know, highly discounted, like a outlet mall or something like that. Every time we went out of town and went to one of those places, I would get an expensive bag. Just to be clear, I am the one of the cheapest people in the planet, but something about nice handbags just flips that for me. I am the ultimate deal hunter when it comes to expensive handbags. This is the Teddy Blake Katie Silver 12 inch in gray. And I just got this from Teddy Blake to review. The reason I was very interested in this bag is because it looks fairly similar to the Hermes Birkin bag, which is thousands of dollars. I'm talking around 18 thousand dollars something like that and I could never justify spending that much on you know a purse I would have a really hard time putting eighteen thousand dollars into a purse and I could have the price wrong but that's what I just looked up right now and I've always known it was very expensive so that's why I was initially interested in this bag and they contacted me about a month or so ago and asked me if I'd be interested in getting one of their bags to review and I said awesome let's do it so they sent me this bag and really I didn't expect it to be as high quality as it is it feels really solid it holds its shape and one of my favorite things about it is that it locks. And I know that's kind of a weird thing to want in a handbag, but it does have these two little straps that attach on either side of the bag that you can pull around this middle little hook thing and you can put a little lock in there. It does come with a lock and it comes with two keys as well. So it can be a very secure bag if you are worried about stuff inside your bag, getting pickpocketed or something like that. This is a great bag because it literally can't get into it. It's locked in there. They need like leather cutters to get in here. Something else that really surprised me about this bag is the interior is suede. So if you guys can see that, it's a very soft suede leather on the inside, which is really not what I was expecting. I was expecting like a normal purse lining material, but honestly, this bag just goes above and beyond anything that I've ever had before. I've had coach bags, I've had fossil bags, and this one is just so sturdy, so well built. I've taken it to the Mall of America for my Valentine's date with Brian, and it has definitely stood the test of carrying all the things in it. Something else that I really like about this bag is it has those little metal feet on the bottom so that if you sit it down on something, it's not going to get the bottom of the bag dirty. I love the design and color of this bag. I really like the gray because I feel like it goes with a lot of different colors. And I love the silver hardware. I feel like all of this hardware is super high quality, very well attached. It has these little metal rivets that go through it so you know it's gonna stay on really, really well. All of the sides are pretty stiff, so it's not gonna lose its shape easily. When I sit it down on the ground, it stays in the same shape that it had before. It's definitely a very sturdy bag. Everything, all the stitching is very beautiful, very well done, and it just, it's a great looking bag. I love the size of the 12 inch Katie bag. I feel like it can fit a lot of stuff in it, but it's definitely not a small bag either. My husband's a diabetic, so I'm always bringing around his tester, his insulin, possibly some juice boxes, and this is definitely a diabetic husband approved bag. All of his stuff fits in here and it doesn't even flinch. It holds up like a champ. One other aspect of this bag that I really enjoyed that I wasn't sure I was going to is this shoulder strap. So usually I am a cross body bag sort of person, but this strap only kind of fits over one shoulder. I do wish they had the option of an extendable strap, but as much as I thought I wasn't going to like this strap, I've actually loved it. The only case where it's annoyed me a little is where I'm wearing a jacket that's a little bit slippery, 
then this will kind of start to slip off my shoulder. So I'll just end up carrying it by the handles. So yeah, I've really been loving this bag so far. It's definitely very well built, very sturdy. It has super high quality materials and I have not had a bag this nice in my entire life. Before we go, let's talk about the price of this bag. This bag goes for around $500 and that is on a little bit of the pricier side, but remember this is 100% leather. It's made in Italy and you can definitely smell the leather. It smells like very real leather. Honestly, I've spent $300-ish on designer bags before, Coach Fossil, that sort of thing, and this blows them out of the water. So I think it's definitely worth 500 bucks, and I do have a coupon code and a link in the description that will get you 35% off so that'll be a little bit cheaper for you guys if you want to do that. The link is an affiliate link, which makes I get a little bit of something back. If that makes you uncomfortable, just go straight to the website, that's fine. I just like to do those affiliate links so that I can continue making videos for you guys. And just so you guys know, this is not a sponsored post. Teddy Blake was just kind enough to send me this bag to review. And I'm so thankful to them because I love this bag. But yeah, I think it's definitely worth the $500. It blows my other designer bags out of the water. And I just, I really, really like it. As always, I'm giving you guys 100% my honest opinion. I wouldn't have it any other way. And if I didn't love the bag, I wouldn't do the video. So I just thought I'd throw in this extra video for you guys so that you could see my new bag, which I love. If you like this video and you want me to review more designer bags, I don't have a ton of them right now, but I have bought a couple on occasion, then let me know in the comments down below or give this video a thumbs up. And if you do here, make sure you scroll down and hit that red subscribe button down below. That's pretty much it. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!